think we only got what T minus two questions uh, to go on this five liner. But I mean, this is the stuff that people need to be getting. Uh, no, what, when they're listening oh, there, to there was a second like part there, there's a second part to that what yeah. got me started on my on my own podcast is i've done as a i, I should have i should have made my made my note updated my my notes to before this tonight but i think with this one since april i've only been doing this since That's april 7th so it's not i haven't been doing it long at all i think this is the when about the twentieth podcast or twenty different show I've been on, talking about my journey and what started my own is somebody told me they're like, you need to start your own podcast. It's like you've done you've done so many, you you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You need to you've been give you've been given the opportunity. Now you need to in turn give people the opportunity to share their stories. I so agree. that's what. That's what started it, and wow. how and wow. okay. the red glasses is I. I was thinking about I was I I thrown around a, a different name because I love drinking coffee, and somebody said, "Well, you should do cough, uh What was it? Encouragement and coffee with David." I was like, "Okay." Well, I was on a I did a podcast with with Nicole um, Nicole Ruse about branding and about the Carmen. Um, automotive stuff stuff and she looked at me with, with the red glasses she's like when we got off the thing she's like have you ever thought about um seeing red with david munford i was like no i never never i that never even came across my came across she said do you wear your red glasses all the time i was like yeah i, I do wear my red glasses all the time and she's like that's your branding that's what that's what people know you as. That's what people. She said your podcast needs to be seeing red with David. So she's the one that actually she created that logo for me about thirty. I'm, I think it was like about thirty minutes after our call, or like maybe the next day after our call. I had an email. She said when we got off call, she said I'm gonna I'm gonna draw you up a logo for your podcast. And wow. that's how it started, and it, that's there that you was go. it. Man, congratulations on that! What a cool story, you know. And it's it's a really cool name, you know. You're like yeah. it's like because you're the complete opposite. You're not one that sees through your glasses and sees red. You know, when you think the word seeing red, it could be like expecting somebody to be. But red. what I like about it's such it's such a cool <laughs> opposite that it's like when you're seeing red, you need to listen to David, right? But do you know? But do you know what the color red stands for? Well, really, assuming you're going to tell us, the, so I, tell, no, me, I tell me something. Tell me okay. Something good. What my podcast is, is I'm, I'm a loving person. It's hardworking. It's life. It's health. It's being, it's, it's vitality. That's what I am. That's what I, that's what I love people. I love, I'm a people person. I love yes. anybody. Yes. So that's what my podcast is. That it's like giving somebody that may not have life, that may feel like they're down and out because I was down and out. I was down for five years. I want to give somebody life. I want to bring somebody back up to say, "Hey, you may be down. You may be you may be having a bad day, but you can come back from it. You you can be successful. You can you can pull yourself up." Oh yeah, and, and, so, and, you're, and you're exactly what you're talking about, right? And it's just so much left, and we are so all so early in this like game of life. We're we're young. Mm-hmm. We have yes. so much time to just do whatever we want to do. But the thing is, is that you have to stay focused on what you want. You got to see through some glasses that are to keep you on that 2020 vision, right? We're oh, on, no. we're we're in 2020 right now. And there's a lot of reasons that people could be like this year suck. But you could also, and I get it, man. It's it's been sad for some people. I know there's been a lot of loved ones that've been lost because of COVID, and it's been affected a lot of people's businesses. Um, I feel bad for all those people. Don't get me wrong. But folks, even those people who are in those right now, if you lost your business, I promise you, if you keep your head up and you keep your and you keep grinding, you keep working hard, and you stay focused, you will come back, and you'll come back oh. stronger than ever because you learned something there, oh, and, you'll, and and you'll be prepared next time, right? So, well, but here's the thing, you know, and. and <laughs> That that's that's it's a great thing to do, and I'm I'm real excited about all that. And 
you know, I'm going to pass the mic over here to Lou. Yeah, let, let's 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 hit on a couple things real quick because we did uh, we did ask uh, or you did you asked the question about red. What does the color of red mean? Well, for those of you that are looking up definitions of colors, um, I do believe that everything has its meaning. Every everything has a purpose. But uh, inside of the color, the red red has a range of symbolic meanings, including life, health, vigor, war, courage, anger, love, and religious mm -hmm. fervor. The common thread is that all of these require passion, and the life force that drives passion is blood, and blood is red. Um, so, only when uh, it's mixed with oxygen outside. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> but uh, speaking of that, we do want to wish happy birthday to Next Sales' own Ashley. I know you're Ashley. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Ashley. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. But happy birthday, Ashley. We are so thankful uh, that we get somebody to, uh, to connect us to incredible tools like the Nexcel app. Again, well, it's something that I think would be great inside of a service lane. You're right. Um, yeah. And it's just great inside of anybody's hand that's it's trying happened. to further their business with going forward with the Nexcel. Again, not just giving another plug for, yes. for great people, but got plug. Ashley is incredible. Ashley, and, happy uh, birthday. So you are amazing, for especially for putting there. up with Jason. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a great job, and you do it with love. So we love you back to work. You, so, you are very Jason needs one. you. I love yeah. it. I love it. <laughs> so, I love it. Happy birthday! It's so awesome. All right, so, but uh, but man, seeing red, what an incredible concept! Uh, because it I is taking name. and flipping a uh, what would be a negative term, uh -huh. turning it into a positive, uh, finding a a way to help people uh, to. Build those encouraging moments, you know, because at the heart, it's still what you're doing. You're having a cup of coffee and a conversation and trying to find a way to be. Yeah. And that's, yeah. you know, at the heart, of course, of what it is that, that we love to do, too. Uh, that's that's why we're here together. Um, so inside of all that, I'd like to know, you know, when when making the connections inside of life and, you, and you're, you're, you're going through uh, finding these paths and these directions, who is it that would be the most influential person to you? As you make these turns inside of life, who is it that you would actually say is the ones that would actually, you'd say, man, if, if I didn't have this person at this pivoted time in my life, um, I don't know if I'd be exactly where it is that I am. Um, who would you say would be the most pivotal person in your life that's said correctly? That's a great profile shot. The glasses. Mm, um, I was serious. I was That'd be great to have. Can you hold that one more one more time? We got to smile at the camera so we can use this for the cover. Turn one more time. One, two, and just smile. <laughs> nice. All right, that's perfect. We're probably going to use that. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to go too deep here. Um, hey, you're on the Car Guy Coffee Podcast, folks. We get That's how Lou likes it. Okay. <laughs> well, then I'll, then I'll then I'll then I'll go deep because I, I said it this morning on on the uh, LinkedIn live I was with with Gabriel Lill and Chantel uh, Sumas and Jason uh, the XXO connection. I was on there this morning talking about my past and everything. I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> If like my my LinkedIn profile is a picture of my family, yes, and yeah. and I would not be where I'm at today if if it was not for everybody in that picture, because yes, I put them through some hell for five years, and when I moved back home at age thirty, the past ten years or yeah 10 years uh they have they they rallied around me and brought me back to where i am today and that's pivotal, that's a turning point that was a turning point in my life when i was able to go back home and be able to uh live with my parents when i did not have anywhere else to go and i was able to learn what I had and how fortunate I am to have what I have and where I've come in the last 10 years I can't even I can't even I can't even begin to say how blessed I am 
Man, and, and how like like even through the pandemic, me and my wife were able to buy a house. Like how like we're like how did this happen? Um, <laughs> and, like we uh, one of our cars uh, literally. I had to pull the old yeller on it and just go ahead and, and let it go. We were able to buy a, a not a brand new car, but a nice a, and newer. A, a 2012 Lexus RX 350, uh, 350? yeah, uh, with 90, 95,000 miles on it. Like, how, how? How did we? How did we ever do that? I love how you do that. How, how, like, I was like, I can't, I can't believe. I was like, how, how can we do that? Everything I look back on it. That's it's, awesome, man. It's, what a great year. Twenty twenty has been amazing. I love that. Here's it's Thanksgiving week, folks. Yeah, it's so much stuff to be thankful for. Oh y'all need God. to sit down, everybody out there. Y'all need to sit down and think about what you are thankful for. Yeah. And there's so much to be thankful for. I don't care if you think it's the worst year. I promise you, if you sit down and you reflect. And if you're watching this show right now, I know you have things to be thankful for. Yeah. So much to be thankful for. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for all the connections I've met since April. For real. Because because a lot of these people are like family. No doubt. Exactly. It, it's family. I mean, it's like I, I, I've talked to people all like uh, I think next week, even going back on the podcast. I think it's I think it's Tuesday. I think it's. Tuesday night, I'm actually, I need to double check that. <laughs> yeah, it's Tuesday night, Tuesday night. I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm going, I'm going international with seeing Red with David. I'm having my first guest from Australia or United, it's either Australia or United Kingdom. I'm going international Tuesday night. Who's your guest? Who's your guest? Uh, her name is uh, Annie, Annie Gibbons. Annie Gibbons. Yep. Shit's going, and then I'm going. I'm going to international Tuesday night. International, baby, Mr. Worldwide. Over here. Worldwide. It's going His worldwide. Name is David. David. So I mean, with the worldwide. So, I'm, so I'm I'm blessed with everything with all this. I mean, no, dude, that is. I'm so happy for you. That's huge. I'm pumped up for you, and I cannot wait to see this show that you're talking about. It's going to be great. You know, we, um, we're we really blessed to have you here, man. We're really excited to have you here once again. You have you are a great soul. I've laughed. You've made me laugh a few times with yeah. some of your stories. Like, you I know, got choked up. I got... I literally, man, I mean, I teared up for a <laughs> second there. So I teared it, up you know, for a while. You, you, de- a you, definitely, you definitely are bringing it tonight, man. I appreciate that. And I know that you're excited to be here. I know I'm excited to have you here. So, fifth question of the night. It's, it's going to have to do basically because it's Thanksgiving week. I'm going to I'm going to change the co- the word that I usually use. We usually use it's your greatest reward to what are you most thankful for in your life? Oh my gosh. For all the things that you've been through in your life, what are you heavy, most That's a one for? layer of bam but right in your mouth. It's so heavy. It's such a heavy Oh man, that's just a big blow, right? <laughs> yeah. Get you some of that. I'm thankful my wife didn't leave me when I when I cheated on her before we got married because she she stuck it out with me and she has been she has helped me stay centered through everything I've been we we've been we've been married five we've been together almost we've been together like ten years but we've been married five years in April wow. but she is, she is the she's the she's the grounding. Um, the, she's the rock solid person that if every, everything I've been through, everything I've went through in the past and everything I've been through, she has been there right beside me through every bit of it. And she has been my, the biggest encouragement with this podcast, with the podcast I've been on. She understands, she's like, she knows this is my hobby, my, my therapy sessions, my, my, this is what I love doing. And she's like, at one point she, she looked at me, she said, okay, you've got to slow down because I was going nuts one weekend. <laughs> like, um, she's like, you can do like one a week. Yeah. But, but she, she's been, she we is, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at without her. I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to do it. 
that's, that's and I tell you what, you're, that's a great answer. Right in there. Not just because it's your wife, because I could tell it's honest, you know, and it's true from your heart. We all need that in our lives. You know, some of us have it through our wives. I know that Lou does. I do also. Um, my wife is my ground. She's the same way with me. She's what keeps me balanced. They, she keeps they, me floating the way I need to go. Much as well. Yeah. So. She gives me like, um, you know, that word I always use. It's <laughs> accountability. So, you know, yep. and, and she does. And it's really nice to have that. And it, it's somebody that I can do that with the rest of my life and know I could trust 100%. So you're very fortunate to have that. It's great that you honored her, that you're so thankful for her. I know that, you know, it's Thanksgiving week. And what other way to, but to honor, the you know, the person that means the most to you, your wife. And, uh-huh. and that's, that's somebody you got to choose, you know, I'm saying like family is family. We all love our family, the ones that are blood, right? And then there's, there's the ooh. And then there's the ones that we choose. And the ones that we choose, man, I honestly, it's it makes it even more powerful because that's the yeah. one that you chose for life. So congratulations to you on that, my friend. And well, that, and my mom also told me that if we ever break up or if we ever get divorced or anything like that, she said, you need to realize she's going to be in your life for the rest of your life. So you can either like it or lump it. So I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> Love the one you're with. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes I'm like, I feel like, uh, who's the kid here? Am, am I the child, or is she the is she the the child here? Because my mom, I, and I'm very, I'm very, I'm very thankful that she gets along with my parent with my parents too. That makes it so much easier. Absolutely, That's, it does, man. I, I feel I'm very fortunate with that myself. Um, so, congratulations on that. That's the five liner, my friend. I mean, we we got that all out there. I mean, so thankful that we've had the opportunity to. Uh, just grind a great conversation with a car guy that's finding a way to solve yeah. problems. Folks, yes. uh, the, the importance of making sure yeah, that we make the right sure. connections from the sales to the service side is, is so key right now. Um, the, the customers are being uh, put into a different way of having to learn how to buy things, shop for things, be in public. You're having to figure it out. When you go to get a gallon of milk, when you go to get uh, whatever, when you go to buy a pair of shoes, when you go shopping for clothes, everything has changed about the way that we approach doing commerce in America and worldwide. And so with that, understand your customers are still trying to figure out how to navigate doing big purchases along with spending lots of time places. And the one thing about the car business that everybody has tried to and is consistently trying to uh, chop away at, it's the time that a customer has to spend at the actual dealership getting their problem solved. And Mm -hmm. from sales to service, we're trying to make those connections happen. And we're so thankful that we get the chance uh, to uh, touch uh, and speak to the different minds that are out there that are making those relationships happen with customers. Again, there's so much uh, to dig into. Uh, and, and we want to spend more time doing so, but make sure that you're, you're trying to find a way. There, there's so many key things that David brought up. Again, the, the biggest takeaway I would encourage you all to take from this five liner is that um, he is somebody that is finding solutions because he's looking for them. He is gainfully seeking a way to help people, and he's reaching outside of the box, and it's helping him to see Guys, red and see solutions. It's not, it's not that common. His, his owner literally said, what? No one's ever. He's in the general, ma- the general manager. Of, like, the general manager. When, I told, when I when I told him what was going on, he was like, he, he even he even said, "I've never had anybody do that." And then there was one day where I had a I had an issue with some with with the with sales not explaining to the cus- to the new customer about what's going to happen. And I went to him and I said, "Hey, can I can I say something to the service one day?" He was like. Yeah, if you want to, I was like, if you let me, I, I, I would love to. He even said, he even said in front of the service department, he said, this is the first time I've, I've ever had any service advisor step up with the gumption and say, listen, do you guys understand what we're doing? How to do it? How to explain it to the customers? Cause I had customers extremely upset, not knowing what's going on. So. I take it like it's my own business inside a business. No doubt. Right. You know what you are, my friend? We echo that. You're a Jedi. Yes, like, you are. I'm, I'm, I had to throw it out there. I saw the Star Wars shirt on. Shout out to Star Wars, my friends. I love the Jedi way. That's how I do. That's, That's right. how I sell cars. You will buy this vehicle. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> you will buy this service. Yes. 
Well, you are 100% Car Guy Coffee approved. And we are so thankful that we have been seeing red here on the Car Guy Coffee podcast. Car Guys and Car Gals, make sure that you share this around. If you uh, actually want to get entered into winning a couple of these cups, you need to do us a favor real quick, and you need to tag at least five car guys or five car gals, mix, match, however it is that you want to get entered in for getting these. One comment, five or more, that will be what puts you into the drawing for that. Uh, Car guys, car gals, you can go to cargaycoffee.com to get something to put inside of your cup. Or you know what you need in there. Some of this uh, inspiration, some action. Some good swag on. out there, folks. And uh, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever challenges that you're facing, uh, we, we encourage you to make sure that you do try to find a way to continue to help overcome the problems, help the person that you're with, uh, make connections with people like David. We're so thankful that, that he has a Man. heart that's for people. Um, but, uh, folks, it, it's, it's something that we want to make sure, and he wants to make sure that we inspire inside of you. We connect you. Uh, to the thing that makes you jump up and go attack your day in a way that says that there is a joyful uh, heart that you have when you help people. And and we want to make sure that we're living that out um, on a consistent basis. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm just pumped up. It makes me want to dance. I want to go on having a great day. Speaking of dancing, Freddie, does, does that, the top top two buttons right there, we can go do the Cholo Challenge real quick. I'm just going to get that going right. <laughs> This is not a, a cultural appropriation, though, man. It makes me feel a little wrong. <laughs> okay. but, um, but so, well, you know. I'm Mexican. But look. So, I, I've been doing <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching Lou Diamond Phillips, uh, me and G, yesterday. He was like, yo, what was your school like that? I was like, well, that's L.A. But a lot of things are kind of similar in the way that, that things were. were. But either way, um, car guys, car gals, that's a little, just a little that's extra. A little, yeah, like a little extra. fun. A little sprinkle on top. Throw some of that. A little nutmeg. Get, get yourself. <laughs> car guys, car guys, we're just so thankful that we had. Thank you, everybody that's been in here tonight. Yes, Happy Thanksgiving man. Happy to Thanksgiving you all. This is going to be an incredible short week uh, before we get the chance to uh, get around a table. Make sure that when you are getting around a table, you are brewing solutions. You're not percolating problems. You're not talking about the problems of this no, world. No, no, um, no, listen, no, no. wherever you are, I'm telling you, wherever you are, you are designed to be a solution to the problems that are facing that world around you. So impact it accordingly. Approach it accordingly. Speak accordingly. If there's darkness around you, it's because it needs to be vanquished by yes. your light. You know the quickest way to get rid of darkness? Just throw light in there real quick. That's right. Just a little light. light. One little itty-bitty light illuminates a whole room. You guys, you guys seen that? Turn on your phone light when you're in your room at night. How great does that help? Like, it's oh, completely man. pitch dark to turn your phone light on. Bing! Oh, man, I can see. So... Be aware of that, folks. There's light all around you. The little bit of light that you have sometimes is enough to shine and share with a lot of people. That's right. And what that does is it becomes multiplied. And the more it multiplies, the more light that becomes. So don't be scared of the dark. The dark's there just to test you. Don't be scared of it. Be excited about it because when that dark comes, you know there's going to be tons of light on the other side of that. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Remember that saying, light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm going to add to that. Be the light in the tunnel. Ooh. Telling y'all that. Be the light that's in the tunnel. He moonwalked back in the tunnel and said, no, no. Said, I'm not waiting for the shiny glow to tumble. And right now, I'm going to shine away to that light. I'm going to help shine the way. That's what you solutionaries are designed to do. Okay, if it's dark around you, that means you're supposed to turn on your light. And you have no excuses. Make moves or make excuses. And if you're making excuses, well, you're not ruining some. Michelle is definitely in wanting to try to get this cup. She's like, my coach. She's bam, like, bam, bam, man, bam, that bam, makes bam, five, bam. fool. All right, I hear okay, you, Michelle. We got I, one, appreciate I know you. we got one from Michelle. You're getting one. We're just yeah. going to give you one. You just get it. Just because you're the first one, and I appreciate you. You're always here. You're the best, That's Michelle. Right. Thank That's you so right. much. And, and for any of you car guys out there uh, that, you know, like a nice polo from Callaway and are size large, go ahead and just put a shirt emoji inside of the comment box, and you can get you a fresh one of these from Wise, Wise. and I. It's a Callaway golf nice shirt. One. It says Wise it's and I. One. It's very pretty. Nice. Very nice. But we're giving it away because we're hanging out with our scene and red guy, and we're having so much fun. Uh, but again, guys, gals, Richie Bello, welcome. Welcome. We love you guys. Love. I love Richie. Love Richie. Love Richie. My Cuban brother. Get you some. Car guys, car gals, thank you again for being with us. Uh, David, we honor you. 
Thank you, sir. Everybody, forgive, focus, fly. Approach this week with intention what? Uh, to brew solutions. Yeah. I am Lou Ramirez, the car guy. And I'm Frelin Arts, the subprime hero. And you have been brewing solutions in the Car Guy Coffee Podcast with Seeing Red Podcast host himself, Mr. David, David Munford. Not to be mistaken with Munford Sons. <laughs> All right, so no. Any relation, though? No, I'm just <laughs> we don't know. Possibly. Uh, possibly. Possibly. But hey, thank you. Spider. Man, it was an honor to have you on here tonight. Thank you so hey, much. No problem. No problem. All right, well, if you ever need anything, you know where to get us. Yeah. www.cargaycoffee.com. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great night. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Wrapping it up, but man, Whew. great night, folks. Whew. If you guys didn't get that passion, if you didn't feel how much David loves doing what he does, then I don't know what you were watching, what you were seeing. I laughed, I had fun, I felt his pain. I, I, I love that he was so open about his relationship with his wife, about the you know what he did before kept he got real. there. He did, he kept it super kept real. real. When you keep things real, the more things are going to come to you because the more you, you put That's up right. walls and you hide yourself the more that people are going to be rejected by you. They're going to reject you, I should say, right? So don't let people reject you. Be honest with them. You'll be surprised how many people open up their arms to you. And I can mm-hmm. appreciate that, David. You're always going to be somebody that if you ever need to reach out, you know how to get a hold of me. Stay back there. You're, he's he's back in the he's, he's in a, he's in a back he's in a back room right now in the green room waiting for us. We're going to talk back to him after we're done with this. Have a quick combo with him. But folks, I just want to throw a little bit of love back out to you once again. Be the light. Find that light. It's so much light out in this world. I love this world. You guys need to love this world. Thanksgiving is coming around the corner. Love it. Tuesday morning, we're going to have a special guest. I have, I'm not going to announce it right now. We'll talk. I'll probably announce it tomorrow, but it's going to be a good one, like they always are. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. These brews are amazing. We ain't spilling the beans. We're not I'm not spilling, not spilling the, beans. the beans yet. But speaking of beans, folks, there's a lot of big things that are going on and that are brewing. Uh, we want to encourage you to, during this season, uh, start really focusing on what it is that you are thankful for inside of your business. And make that be the culture that you take on for the rest of the entire next year and every day of your life. It shouldn't, there shouldn't be a spot where you only have this one week where you think about what you're grateful for. This should be a lifestyle. It should be very easy for you to turn up those emotions. And because there's uh, so much that we are grateful for, we are in a posture where we want to start giving out so much information and sharing so much of the knowledge that we've been able to gain from so many of the incredible people that we've been talking to. And it can help you have business consistent where you don't have to worry about pandemics. You don't have to worry about 
um, what other people do concerning your business, you can always know that you are doing what it takes to build uh, preset upon preset, a business upon business to build yourself up to that next level that you want to go to. Um, and we have ways to help it out. So just understand that, hear that. Um, I'm just making that. deposits inside of uh, inside of your mind, inside of your heart for now to know that things are coming, but be seeking. If there's anything, again, I want you to take your to-go cup for on this, it's that uh, David reached out to people and he wanted to learn more. And that's how he got involved in the social media world. Uh, and he was able to grab on to uh, just different resources that fed him what he wasn't getting fed at work. And you all have the same capabilities to do so. There's yeah. no excuses. Don't make any excuses. Oh, yeah. Brew solutions. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Whoa. 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 Get your song. Whoa. Whoa. Car guys. Car guys. Thank you again <laughs> for joining us tonight.